This is Uday from Nemadi. I want to talk to you about what is home inspection and when is the best time for you to get this service of home inspection. You would have talked to a builder and purchased an apartment after getting into an agreement and potentially you have made payments to the builder over a period of time. When it's about 90% of the payment has been made to the builder, the builder will tell you to come and check and see that everything is okay with your apartment for you to take over. Now that is the most opportune time for you to get in touch with us. Second question, what is it that home inspection entails and what do you get out of home inspection? Let's talk about notional value and potentially also hard cash value. Uh, we have been in this field of construction as a project management consulting firm for over 30 years. So we understand the nitty gritty of construction in real estate and we also know where things can go wrong and what needs to be looked at in this particular field in terms of quality. So when you get in touch with us, we will look at a couple of things. First, we start with specifications. Now this is a set of specifications that the builder has given you and has promised you your apartment will have. Now what does specification mean? You will have certain type of flooring, you will have certain type of tiles, you may have certain types of fittings, you may have a, maybe a, a glass partition for your shower, etc. Now these are specifications. So we will first check to make sure that the specifications are met. Second, we will also look at workmanship. Now, workmanship, where do you look at? What do you look at? How do you look at? Now, from our experience from the parent company, after having done over 1,500 projects, we know that we have a checklist which is our IP and has over 1,500 points for a 2,000 square foot apartment. Right? So, our checklist is in detail and has a lot of information that we can look at. Now this comes from experience. Now what are the things that we look at? We look at whether there are any chips uh, in your tiling, whether there are any hollow tiles, whether painting has been done properly, if there is any undulation, any of these things can be looked at. So that is workmanship. And that has about 1,500 points for a 2,000 square foot apartment. This is the experience that we have and we bring about. Now the other thing that we look at is area. Now area, has been mandated by RERA. RERA now tells you how area needs to be measured. Earlier there was carpet area, saleable area, super built up area, all of these different things. But now RERA mandates how carpet area needs to be measured. We measure carpet area as mandated by RERA and give you a statement. This will help you understand what was provided to you by the builder and what you have at home. Now, the other thing that we also look at is dampness, seepage. We use advanced tools such as thermographic cameras to make sure that there are no hidden or latent damp spots within your house. And we give you a report that shows where there is dampness and how it can be looked after. Now, all of this gives you an idea of the depth of work that we provide. Now, I'll give you a little more information about what area could be. Now, or, or just before that, I'll talk about workmanship, right? So, from 1,000 odd apartments that we have done for home inspection over the last couple of years, we have seen that for a 2,000 square foot apartment, a 2,000 square foot apartment, there are about 130 snags. So, if there are 130 snags in a 2,000 square foot apartment on average and we were to attribute 1,000 rupees per snag, that would give you 1.3 lakhs. Now, that is money that you have spent even before you moved in. Right? 1.3 lakhs. Second thing, area. 
people today buy villas and apartments between 5,000 to 25,000 rupees a square foot. Let's look at the lower end of the spectrum, maybe 5,000 rupees a square foot. If you have 5,000 rupees a square foot and your apartment is 10 square feet short, that gives you about 50,000 rupees. So you have 180 thousand of lost value even before you move in. Now all of this can be saved you from the trouble of having finding a contractor after you move in, after uh, moving out of the house because you already have moved in, you have to move your furniture out, you have to move your family out. All of that trouble can be saved if you get home inspection done before you move in. And please visit us at www dot nemadi dot in that is n e m m a d i dot i n thank you